<laughs> Can I ask you a question? Truth or dare? Dare. Truth. All right. If you, if you chose dare, I dare you to answer the truth. <laughs> truth. <laughs> truth. <laughs> truth. 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 <laughs> Is it true that you as the audience feel your way of thinking is threatened by having me up here on a mic, not knowing what I'm going to say next, the possibility of having a crowd share for a poem you hate, is it true? Is it true that you as the audience feel your way of thinking is threatened? It's actually a rhetorical question. This is a real poem and I am going to move on, but the point I'm trying to make is that whatever fear exists is shared by both the listener and the reader. This room is filled with snakes and children, both staring at each other, anticipating the next move or word. I don't know if you kids are going to kill me. You could have just finished watching Anaconda before coming to the poetry spot, and your preconceptions causes you to strike with gossip and skeptical stares. So I spit venom as a defense mechanism. Snakes and children, readers and listeners, if we're all scared, there should be no such thing as stage fright. If we're all scared, Who's really on stage? Mm. It took a four hour conversation with a child to realize and clarify why I don't do many personal pieces. It's because I'm too young to die. Tell me how to write a piece about feeling unloved as a teen, tears in a blue and white striped towel face down on a bunk bed, wishing answers grew on trees, or at least fell on transparent grass, without overshadowing the good parts. Go ahead, tell me how to write a piece about not believing in the concept of a best friend without making close ones feel insignificant. Mm -hmm. When you grow up like this, you either end up loving everyone or being cold and numb to everything. I feel like I'm 100% of both. I wish answers grew on trees or at least fell on transparent grass. Tell me how to write a piece about my sexual encounters with Juana, Crystal, and Mary. Confessions too big to fit in stained glass windows. The confessionals closed today. Thank God for open mics right. and stakes and children. Every little bit of you you open up to the public through poetry is possibly the topic of the next conversation started by a stranger. But not everything we let out are necessarily things we want to talk about, but something's got to give, especially when you paint for a living. So in the meantime, I spit optical illusions. Some poets battle demons in lyrical fun houses with no eraser. Straight, no chaser, hard to digest. Readers, ink bleeders, okay. come fly with me in immortal language. Who cares if they don't understand? I'd rather rest in peace than live in fear. I'd rather rest in peace than live in fear. Forgive me, it's been a while since I played Truth and Dare. <laughs>